Hey guys, welcome back to Side Gig Life. My name is John, and I make videos related to DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart, Shipped, and a whole bunch of other gig-related videos. Today, I wanted to go over some tips and tricks to make sure you don't get deactivated, because that could ruin it for you. Uh, so it might, some of these might be really obvious and common sense, but it's good to hear as a reminder because it almost happened to me. We're going to start off with a story time here because the other day I was out doing a shipped delivery only order. It was a ShopRite delivery only order and it was going to an apartment complex. I delivered to what I know to be the correct address, but the customers reported it that they never got their groceries. Well, they called ShopRite. I'm pretty sure they had someone reshop it and give them an, an additional set of groceries. Uh, basically, a shift reached out to me. They called me and said, hey, this customer is saying they didn't get their order. And I was like, look, I went there. It's brick apartment buildings. I left it right outside their door. There should be no reason why they cannot find it unless someone else took the groceries. And then they're like, okay, well, we'll call ShopRite and handle it. I'm like, crap, I'm probably going to get deactivated over this. Like, I can't be dealing with that. I've seen a lot of people get deactivated when someone reports they did not get their order. Well, guess what? I was lazy that day. So I use the timestamp app. And that's just literally a camera app that takes a picture with the time and the address of where you are. It is not always perfect, especially in apartments, but you go ahead, you snap that picture and you get a little in the corner. I delivered to uh, 300 Main Street on this day at this time. That way, if DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, shipped Instacart says, hey, customer's saying they didn't get their food, their order. You go ahead and say, hey, look, support. Check out this picture. This is their door. And you're good. <laughs> um, but again, I was being lazy that day. I just wasn't feeling it. And I did not do that. So this is your reminder. And then in addition to taking pictures, you should always, always, always provide the best service possible. There's no reason for you to be out there working, swearing at people, being rude or mean. Um, I've seen on Facebook groups that there's sexual harassment and stuff, and it's just like, it's so not cool. So definitely do not put yourself in a situation that you wouldn't at a W-2 job. If you enjoy doing gig work, you like the freedom and all of that, you need to treat it like a W-2 job or else you're going to find yourself deactivated and out of options. <laughs> and then you're going to be crawling back to W-2 work. You're going to lose that freedom. You're going to lose being your own boss. And a lot of people don't like that. So I hope this helps you guys. Again, download the timestamp app. It is a free app. This is not sponsored. It's just a way to save yourself if someone reports something not delivered. I just wanted to add that things have been really tough lately um, and I'm doing my best to keep up with Vlogmas 2021 but it's been a challenge so to everyone who's been supporting me and watching my videos liking commenting I really appreciate you you're the best I'll see you in the next one peace